I'm here because I'm supporting the No West Connects campaign. It impacts on the whole of the inner west, in fact on the whole of Sydney. West Connects is going to cost $14 billion. What we need to be doing is cancelling the No West Connects completely and making that investment instead in public transport which we can achieve much better outcomes at a fraction of the cost. If you go to Blackdown Hospital casually, you can wait up to 24 hours. If you go to RPA, I've waited 12 hours there. The hospitals are starved of funds and they're going to be continuing to be starved of funds because $14 billion is going to use up all the money that the state has. The West Connects doesn't stack up on any grounds, not economic grounds, not environmental grounds, not social grounds and not transport grounds. Today, this is the future. We're going to stop West Connects. Thanks for coming, everybody. We're here today because we're in particular drawing attention to the latest announcement from the government that St Peter's is where they want to put an interchange as a sort of portal to the West Connects project. It's going to mean, at the very least, 40 houses going. People have already been sent letters saying they have to vacate their homes in 12 months. I mean, what a horrendous demand. And these are people who had no idea this was on the agenda. Stop West Connects! Stop West Connects! Look, my objection to West Connects is simply that when you get a private company doing what should be the job of government to provide services and infrastructure, then there are other imperatives and incentives that come and take over that. We live in the 21st century where we need to build public transport based on light rail, on heavy rail, on integrated cycling and walking connections. But most of all, the government is arrogantly pushing ahead with the West Connects without a business case, without an environmental impact assessment. No business case has yet been put to the public about West Connects. Trees, not tolls. Stop West Connects. And no environmental impact statement Stop has yet been West released. Connects. So how is it possible that people's very houses can be acquired before you have an environmental impact statement? That's why we're here today. Public transport is the only that we won't pay for West Connect. No, West Connect. We've got to put an end to this $15 billion freeway madness and force this government to actually abandon this crazy project and put serious money into investing in public transport. We've been fighting this in Parliament for a year and a half and we'll be standing with our communities fighting it at this election and beyond. How can it be stopped? Well, it can be stopped by public action. Thank you.